So I'm going to ask a question in this video, and it's actually one of the most important questions that we can ask in life. So when I ask you this question in a moment, I want you to sit with it. I want you to really deeply consider the answer because the answer we give to this question is actually one of the biggest predictors of happiness in our lives and how our future life will actually play out. So after you hear the question, just stop for a minute and consider the answer. So you ready? Here's the question. What did I do today to help me find solutions to the problems in my life that have been holding me back? Let me ask it again. What did I do today to help me find solutions to the problems in my life that have been holding me back? So hopefully you've thought about your answer and maybe the answer came to you very simply. If so, that's fantastic, that's really good. But maybe you're like a lot of us and there is no simple, straightforward answer that you can find to that question. You know, the problems you have maybe coming up, maybe they've been there for a long, long time and you think that seeking for answers or solutions to their problems is impossible. You might think that these problems or issues are so deeply ingrained that you've actually just given up finding a solution altogether. So this is really the work for all of us. If we are going to find a way forward in our lives, what we need to find out is, before we figure out the problems, is we need to figure out a way to predictably and reliably answer the questions that are there. We need to find a way to solve our problems and we need to know that we can rely on it. You know, a lot of us have the same problems in life. We feel stuck, uh, we feel that we're not growing, we're not reaching our potential, we're not happy in our jobs, we're not happy in our relationships. We wanna quit our job, find something else, but we feel like we don't have enough money. And you know, these patterns go on for weeks, months, years. And the worst thing is that we feel like there is no way to resolve these issues. No matter what we do, we just keep on repeating old patterns again and again and again. And eventually we just lose faith in the ability for us to solve these problems. So if you've ever had any of these types of questions, first of all, you are not alone. That's very important to realize. And the good news is the answer to this is far simpler than most of us realize. And the really good news is that the answer is available to you right now where you are. The truth is that there is no instructions for your life. That's because it's your life. Your life is your own. It's different to everybody else's. So the tendency we have is to search for an answer from somebody else, maybe some guru or some course that we go to to try and find the solution, the, the rules of the game if you like. There are no rules for your life. You're the maker of the rules of your own life. So what we need to do is realize maybe there is no one that's going to show up in my life and tell me the answers. And I think there is definitely something to that because the answers are within yourself. And that's why I'm going to talk a little bit about the power of self-reflection and making that a part of your daily life. So in order to start using self-reflection, first of all, what we need to do is to construct a lifestyle that allows us to reflect. It's basically just safeguarding a, a piece of our time or maybe some time at the end of our day to actually just sit down by ourselves and to think deeply about how my day has been, what was it like for me emotionally, and to start getting honest about the emotional experiences we're having on a day-to-day -day level. What I'm not talking about here is intellectualizing. I'm not talking about ruminating about our problems, just thinking about them, having them passively roll about in the back of our mind. Um, that's chronic worrying, really. What I'm talking about here is a conscious, deliberate practice of reflecting on your day. And if we can start to implement this into our lives, it has a huge 
potential to be transformative in our lives. Reflecting on our day is the key to personal growth. Now, here's the thing about it. When we are in self-reflection, we need to be really honest with ourselves. It's not sugarcoating our day, trying to be positive about it. It's about all the disappointments, all the upsets, all the fear and anxiety that I had in the day. And to really just to start give, giving those the attention that they're calling out for, because they are calling for our attention, but a lot of the time what we do is we deny it and we repress it and we distract ourselves. So distract, um, daily reflection is really all about taking an honest look at how we really feel. So looking at all the mistakes that we make, it's looking at the ways that we feel we may have self-sabotaged ourselves or dishonored ourselves or made ourselves feel some level of shame about what happened in the day. So it's an examination of how we relate to other people, but how we relate to ourselves more importantly. So it can be challenging, but that's where the work is. It's the willingness to be honest with ourselves about how we really feel that has the power for the transformation. In order for us to do this practically, there's one important thing I'd like you to consider. I want you to consider becoming slightly less busy in your life. So the problem is the rationalization we always use is that I'm too busy to do this. I don't have time to sit down and do this. All this really requires is maybe, you know, a few minutes at the end of our day, maybe, you know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that, to get honest and reflect on how we feel our day has gone. So imagine if I asked you again in the future, um, what do you do to find solutions to the problems that are plaguing you maybe in your life? Will you be able to answer that question differently? If I was to ask you, what do I do? What do you do on a daily basis to help you find solutions for the problems that have been holding you back in life? Maybe you'll be able to say, I own up to how I feel. I examine them rationally, but compassionately. I give time to process how I feel my day has gone. I place this as a priority in my life. And I feel good about the fact that I'm facing up to my problems. I'm not denying them anymore and I'm not distracting myself from my problems. And I'm beginning to see the personal growth and the emotional change that comes from being honest about how I feel. The truth is that in these self-reflection periods or these sessions that we do on a daily basis, this is where we'll get all the little insights about how to sharpen our process, how to make life easier for ourselves, how I can actually start to maybe achieve some of the things, the long-held goals that I've had in my life, how to see progress come about in my life, how to start to relate to other people in the way that I've always wanted to how to maybe let go of some of the emotional baggage I've been carrying. These are all some of the things that reveal themselves to us when we sit in silence and are willing to examine how we really feel about how our lives are going. So this is really an invitation for us to start this exercise or this discipline or practice right now. You can start this today and try to not make the rationalizations about how busy I am or the fact that I don't have time or something came up. I want you to make this a priority in your life. I want you to do this for no one else but yourself. I want you to make yourself your top priority. I want you to start treating yourself like you are the most important person in the world because you are responsible for your own well-being. There's no guru, there is no book, you can do it because you have everything you need within yourself and you can start to find solutions whereby before all there seemed to be were problems and more problems. The solutions are there and you have the power to find those. So hopefully you can give that a go and maybe let me know how it goes for you. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to contact me, you can send me a message. You can go to my website. You can read um, maybe one of my free books if you like. But remember, they're, they're optional, right? The answers are in you. So go within, 
be honest, be brutally honest about how it is you feel, how you feel the day has gone. And you will find that what once was a negative emotion will start to shift into a more peaceful mindset and then the feelings of joy, the feelings of optimism will start to come in more naturally. You can do it, just believe in yourself, trust the process. Take care.